In this video, we're going to talk about receiving content from content creators via Dropbox. We all know what Dropbox is. It allows us to share uh, data, files, and information via a common, um, a common mode of transfer. A lot of uh, content creators, if, you, if you're someone that has a podcast or you create a radio show, a mix show, or something of that nature, and you deliver your content to radio stations via Dropbox, this video is for you. If you're a radio station and you have content providers that send stuff to you via Dropbox, this is for you. Now, several ways you can get info, um, get this content from Dropbox. You can manually do it. You can set up Dropbox on your computer and have them share their folder with you, and you can pull it directly from your folder. Or I'm getting ready to show you a way you can do it, or uh, the way that I do it. And um, if you have the Dropbox app on your system, you can pull the content automatically or with this system I'm getting ready to show you, you can download it automatically so that your broadcast software can play it at the right time that it needs to be played. So here I am, I'm logged into a, uh, one of my drop boxes. Okay. And I have a folder here called software demo file. Well, let's change the name of this. Maybe we'll, um, no, we'll leave it like that. We'll leave it like that. So in here, this will be the folder that a content creator will send me the link to. Now, most people will send you a link to the file itself. They will come over here and they will share the link to the file itself. The problem with that is if this file name changes all the time, it means you're going to have to go in there manually and download it all the time. But what if there was a way, regardless of what they name this file, if it's just one file, nothing else, what if there was a way to automatically download this, name it to what you wanted to name it to so that your broadcast software can pull it, whether it be radio boss, radio DJ, sound broadcaster, or whatever you're using. Well, the way you do that is you have your content, provider, instead of giving you a link to the file itself, have them give you a link to the folder. So if I click on, if I go to where the folder is and I click share, what, what you want is this share, uh, share a link instead. You don't want to necessarily um, have access to the folder. If they can just give you this link down here below where it says share a link and you can view, you want to copy that link. Okay. Once you copy that link in this software, once it's installed, it, it will look like this inside of the installation folder. As you can see, it's installed on a C drive in the name of the folder. This is the demo version. So in this Dropbox uh, text file, I'm going to paste that link that I just got from my content provider. The only thing I have to do is on the very end where it says DL equals zero, is change that to DL equals one and save the text file. Okay. The other thing you can do is once you install this uh, single audio MP3 downloader, is there's a text file in here called show name. Here I can give this whatever name I want it. So I'm just going to call it the cooking podcast and you can have spaces if you want. Okay. You don't need to add an extension to the end. That's going to get added automatically. So it's called the, the cooking podcast. When this runs, when you run the program, it's going to download it automatically for you. 
And then when I go into the playback folder, let's test there and take that out. You'll see the cooking podcast.mp3. When I run it, it's going to be um, the file that was originally in this folder right here. It's the anointed sounds of now in here they called it it's labeled this but when i downloaded it and ran the program i was able to change the name to what i wanted to be um and so now my radio broadcast will grab this it'll always be the same name so i won't have to do any updating to my broadcast software this is the best way to deliver content mp3 content two radio stations and radio stations. When you get this software, you'll be able to uh, run the software and download the show the way you want it. What if you have multiple shows? If you have multiple shows, what I would suggest you do is inside this folder, I will create a new folder and I'm going to call it the police report. Maybe that's the name of the show. And I'm going to copy everything, including the playback folder. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to put that inside this new folder. Okay. Now this playback folder, I'm going to take that out. Uh, now what I would do is the drop rock, this link now will become the link to the show called the police report. Okay. And of course the show name inside of this one will become the police report. Okay. And when I run this program, So when I go into playback, I should now see the police report, which is coming from another Dropbox content provider. So if I want another show, I go back to my main, create a new folder. So you can use this one software for multiple programs. The software will only run on one computer, however, but you can use it to do multiple shows. Just create shows inside of the same folder. And um, again, you would copy everything, including the playback folder. And let's see what happens if you don't have the play, or if you don't copy the playback folder. So this is the third show. Let's put this in there. Uh, of course, you will go into the Dropbox links and you put in the, the new link to this third show, whatever that may be. You will go into the show name folder, uh, text file rather, Put its name in. Okay. And now when I run it, you notice, even though it did not have the playback folder, it created it for you and it put your show inside of it. This is the third show. And as you can see, it's a 2.33 megabyte. So it is a show. Um, it's, it's of course downloading from the same place, but that's how you can use this software multiple times to do multiple shows. Now this one is designed only for people that's sending you one file via Dropbox. And you can get this software right now on carterscripts.com.